Alright guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Guards. We are continuing our weapon collection. We're now in the expedition uh, missions um, to collect weapons. And a good portion of these, I think, if not all of them, have weapons. Um, so this one is going to be Crimson Mountain, the Impassable Valley. Um, there are five black ogres in this level. Just kill those five black ogres. You'll unlock the weapon. So basically I run through and I... Uh, because the black ogres didn't take that long uh, to do. Um, there is one at the end of this video where I kind of just show where the last thing that you need to get is. Um, but we will explain that when we get to it. So this one, uh, I'm also you know killing more enemies because I want the experience... For all the weapons, I just want to get some of them maxed out, just because I didn't just I didn't max out all of them as I stated in the last video. Uh, and again, this is post commentary. Uh, I done the editing, and uh, we just need to put them together to get this 20. It looks like 22 minute video. Uh, I went through three large videos that were probably a total of like an hour and a half or so to get 20 minutes. And I'm looking at what I currently have still in the uh, feed. And there's still seven more videos that I will still have to go through. And I think that's before even getting to the air expedition. <laughs> so, I, so I think that um, the weapon collecting is actually going to be a lot longer than I thought it was originally going to be. So maybe, maybe it wasn't five hours of recording. It was more like ten. And that's a really cool magic attack. I think this is Slaughterism, uh, and that's the magic attack that it has. It's not that great on this map because all of the enemies have red, so that repels the magic. Why as to red repels magic? That I don't know. I probably won't understand that, but... Oh. So it's now like 3 in the morning on June 30th. I just got done editing the other one. It took like an hour for it to process. But, um... Which, if I had a better PC or anything, that would have probably taken more like 10 minutes. Or if I had just had a better, quicker editor or whatever. But... Uh, I will be starting a new LP today. Um, clearly, uh, you guys will already see it. Uh, so it's going to be Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. That releases the day that I'm recording this. Um, and then I'm going to record that later tonight and actually upload it uh, the day it comes out, too. So we're going to have three LPs going. Uh, Dragon Guard finishing up, as well as Horizon Zero Dawn still going. I think we're, as of my last recording session, I think we're just under 20% through the game. Which is ridiculous. That is, we're, we haven't even crossed into a certain part of the map yet, and we're only 20% through the game. So, th that game's going to be... Um, and then we're going to have Crash Bandicoot, as I said. Crash Bandicoot should have been expected from a long time ago. As I've already done like seven of the games, maybe eight at this point. I, I want to say it's seven. Uh, there's really nothing to say here until we destroy all the old ogres. The last two are here. Um, but no, Crash Bandicoot's going to be a thing. And I've actually been having a lot of people request lately um, Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. So, after um, Crash or Horizon gets done, whichever one gets done first, which I would hope would be Horizon... But I can't hold my breath. So there's the last ogre. Uh, it unlocks the chest where we're going to run over. We're going to get it. We're going to pick it up. And then that will essentially... I'll cut towards the end of the chapter. Um, so after either Horizon or Crash, more than likely it's going to be Baldur's Gate. Dark Alliance 2. Since I've had, I want to say in the last half year, five or six requests for it. Which is actually a pretty big amount for, you know, my channel. Since it's... it's since we have such a small channel, getting six requests for the same game is pretty good. And you know, I want to, I want to get games that you guys want to see on here. Uh, 
clearly having played the uh, games that came out before it beforehand or in timeline order beforehand. So there's the weapon. In which then when we cut to the end of the chapter, we end up getting uh, Greed's reward. Uh, Slaughter is now level 4. Which is pretty nice, so that means we get a new weapon. I'm actually going to see what else. Okay. Now, the next one is... Um, yeah, so Sword Smasher we could get. It, it took me a while to figure out exactly what I wanted to do, but we're going to take Tyrant's Hammer uh, because that's already at level 2 and it's a hammer. We might as well try and get like a level 4 of every type of weapon, which would be nice. And there's, there's a lot of different types of weapons. So the next one is in the Crimson Mountains in the Colosseum. Uh, this one, you have to beat nine waves of enemies in like nine minutes or something and you can use an ally um and it's recommended that you use uh ariosh ariok <laughs> um so, so basically for like these where it's like you have to do this in a certain amount of time i'll probably just cut to the end and show you hey i got this done this Come, amount of time you can do it the goddess is waiting for you and i don't know why i switched to siri there Sometimes only the sinner may live. Oh, I think I was showing off all of their, uh, all of, all of the audio. I don't know why, but I guess I did. And it doesn't matter what dragon, because I wasn't using the dragon here anyway. But you could have used the dragon more to get the dragon more level ups instead of your weapons or whatever. So, this is the end of the chapter, actually. Um,. Uh, Mainly because I just wanted to cut to where I show that, hey, I beat it in under nine minutes. Here you are. I think, it, yeah, 610. Under nine minutes, boom. You're perfect. You got it. You get the weapon. And the weapon is... Windsinger Storm's Eye as the magic. Which is a poleaxe. Now, this next one is in the Forest of the Seal, the Imperial Garrison. This one, you just have to, like, 25 minutes go through the level. Uh, and that's without the pausing. So, you just you could just literally clear out the area around you, wait there for 25 minutes of game time to pass, and then uh, do it. Uh, what I was doing is I went around, I killed enemies. I killed, like, 90% of the targets, left a couple open, and then just waited for the thing to say. A treasure box has appeared <laughs> which I think this one is you got to kill a bunch of like kid soldiers too but I mean we literally only needed the uh, to wait 25 minutes so nothing too hard there this this is an easy one to get you just have to be patient and like this is why like it's probably more like 10 hours or uh, or so to record uh, all the weapons is because you will have some of these that are like wait 20 minutes wait 15 minutes wait 25 minutes and it's just like uh, Yeah, so we have like one target here, which is right next to the treasure chest, which is just like come on So there we go. We ended up getting that and then boom, killed the target <laughs> But no, I mean I had yeah, we took 25 and a half or 25 minutes and like 52 seconds for this. It's ridiculous how much time was spent into grinding weapons. Like, I think when I uploaded video 77 is when I started grinding weapons. And I just sat and just played to get the weapons for the longest time. So, Wraith Heart was stricken soul. And the Reaper is now level 3. And the time Hammer is also level 3. And it was also like, I want to get this level. And what should I use in this level? It's a bunch of choices. And like none of them actually make any difference. It's just getting the weapons. I think at the end of this video, we have like 65% of the weapons. Which is just like, oh my god. So the next area... Um, 
I don't exactly remember where we went. I'm trying to keep. Uh, I'm trying to keep this in the order that I recorded it in too. So uh, we went to. The, was it Imperial City and the Altar? I think it was. Yeah, Imperial City and the Altar. This one is weird. Um. Th this is a weird one to try and get a weapon for. Uh, you have to touch portraits that are hanging on the wall. So there are ten portraits on each wall. So you want to hit the first portrait that's on the right first. Then hit the first purchase portrait on the left. And then go up and hit the seventh portrait on the right. And then go up and hit the seventh portrait on the left. And that will unlock you the... Um, that will unlock you the weapon. Now, I tried that um, with Kayum for some reason. And it just did not seem to work for me. Because, like, here I am touching this one. And then... I don't know if it's because I got hit there or something. But here I go to touch the seventh one here. But it didn't work for some reason. Yet, when I did it with um, Ariosh... It completely worked. Um, as to why, I, I can't tell you why. Um, it just did not allow me to properly get it with Kayam. Even though I had done exactly what the directions were. So, uh, we do end up getting it. it. For some reason, it only re wanted to work when I was Ariash. Oh my god, my throat's starting to go dry. And we still have like 13 minutes of this to record or something. Eh, maybe more like 10 minutes. And I'm going to be doing a lot of recording tomorrow. So, I mean, or well, in a couple hours when I wake up. But, no, for some reason, this one didn't work. And this is like the weirdest one. Like, some of them are, yeah, de defeat certain enemies. Wait a specific amount of time. Touching portraits, though. Like, I guess the portraits are important to the level because, you know... It's the only one that you really ever see portraits on. But it's like, that's such a weird one. So there we go. We collected it. Um, and then we show off what the stats are for it. Treasure Builder. Talos Fist. So I think this is our third or fourth weapon. And so there we are at 65% of the weapons. It's another hammer. And it's actually a very, like, it seems like a short hammer. Although it says reach long. Just looking at the picture, it seems like a short hammer. I don't know. And so then on on the following day, I decided to start recording again. Do some more expeditions. Keep trying this. Um, so we end up going to the Ocean Fortress, and that would be the inside of the Ocean Fortress. Now, this is the one that I cut a big chunk out. Um, and I could probably cut out a little bit more. So we head up to the third floor, and then there's a chest in there that has a key. What, in order to unlock this weapon, what you need to do is collect all ten keys. So this is the chest that's going to have a key in um, And there's the key floating there. Treasure box has a key. There are seven chests on the first floor. There are two chests on the second floor. And then there's one chest in the top floor, which is the one that we showed. I could probably cut the uh, the running back for um, running back for the weapon after I do some explanation here. But I do want to show off where the weapon is. Um, but you need to open all three chests, uh, or all ten chests, I should say, on all three floors, and that will unlock the um, and that will unlock the weapon for you on the first floor. So you have to go all the way. You could just go all the way to the third floor, get that chest, and then start working your way down. Um, and that will still work. But uh, this one is a open 10 chests. You get your weapon after you open another chest that contains a weapon. But it's not that hard of one to do. It's just a little tedious to do because you have to go through and um, one of these enemies are actually pretty hard but granted I don't know what weapon I'm using um, 
and two, they're just scattered all over the level, especially with how big the first floor is. And we ended up getting a uh, a power boost one there, which is actually pretty cool. So here we are going down to the uh, first floor, and the weapon is all the way back in the basically the second floor. So I just I think I'm just gonna leave this all in. I might cut getting back to the end out to just shorten this a couple of minutes because I mean we don't really need to have this be um, longer than it needs to be I, do I actually spend time in here destroying the enemies it seems like I do that's an annoyance although I'm still not that great at the game I mean I'm getting I always get surrounded and just beat up but no um, so this is gonna be I want to say like our ninth or our tenth weapon that we've collected in outside of the story. Um, and that is actually a pretty good thing. Um, but yeah, so we end up getting the weapon. We unlock it. It is... Um, oh, what is it called? Ozymandias' Might with Lightning Strike, which is a spear, and that puts us up to 67% of the weapons. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you back for more weapon collecting.